How confident are you feeling with your sales? Do you really understand the fundamental difference between marketing and selling? Today's Coaching for Creatives is all about looking at what is the difference between marketing and selling and how can knowing that difference help support us to attract more clients that we love and projects that inspire us. I'm Aura McKay. I'm the founder of Business of Creativity, and I am your host for today's Coaching for Creatives. Marketing versus sales. Okay, I'm curious, what kinds of things do you think of when I say marketing? And try to think of it from your own perspective. A lot of my clients are digital marketers. They are doing online marketing. They're doing SEO, web design, social media media management, creating um, opt-ins and lead magnets and emails. Many of my clients are super skilled at creating marketing messaging, marketing content, sales messaging, and sales content for their clients. But when it comes to doing it for themselves, there seems to be an additional struggle, an additional challenge with really getting clear on what is the fundamental difference between marketing and selling. If you're watching this on the replay, tell me what you think before you listen to the end of the video. I'm curious to know what you think of when it comes to marketing versus sales right now. Let's get into this a little bit. A lot of times when we think about marketing, we think about doing actions and activities like being on Facebook, doing a Facebook Live. Do we think about making posts, organic posts in our social media on different platforms? We think about maybe doing paid advertising. What we think we're doing is marketing, but sometimes we also call it sales or selling. There seems to be this sort of blurred line between what is marketing and what is selling. And I believe that when you can understand the fundamental difference between them and their roles and the timing of when to use which, that will really support you in attracting the clients that you love and projects that inspire you. For me, the very basic is marketing is more about talking and sales is more about listening. Yes, Dave just put in the chat box in the comments there that marketing, you're not asking for the sale yet and sales, you're actually selling. Let's explore that. In marketing, usually I'm giving information, I'm telling a story, and each time I market, each message definitely has a call to action. It definitely has an invitation to take the next step with you. However, they're not invitations to actually buy from you yet. That is the job of a sales page or a sales conversation. Most of us in the creative services industries do our selling in a two-step process where we have a a discovery call, a sales call, a sort of creative briefing session where we get an, a sense of the scope of the project and the needs and the deliverables. And then the second stage is where we would present our proposal. We would make our offer to work together and that invitation, that ask for the sale piece that Dave's pointing to. For me, when I look at the difference, Marketing is when you're talking to your client, you're giving information, you're telling a story, you're being the one who is doing most of the communicating. In order to be successful at marketing, though, you usually have to do a lot of listening to find out what message does my client care about? What kind of offer does my client care about? I talk a lot more about creating a compelling offer that actually closes sales in my upcoming mini course that starts at the end of July and will likely be offered again at some point this year, but definitely get in on it. The Make Offers That Close course, I'll pop the link in there for you. This conversation isn't about how do you actually create those compelling offers. This conversation is that one step before that so often we just step over or we forget or we think, oh yeah, yeah, I know that. 
And quite often, the thing that that stops us as creative freelancers is that, oh, yeah, I already know that or believing that we know what something is without being really genuinely clear on it. Today's conversation is to just get that clarity about what is the difference between marketing and selling. In a sales conversation, what you're doing is you're discovering are the needs and desires of my prospect, of my lead who's sitting in front of me, are those needs and desires something that I actually do have a solution for? Am I the right fit for them? And are they the right fit for me? There's two things that are happening in a sales conversation. And most of what's happening in the sales conversation is you're trying to learn information from them. If we've done a really great job with our marketing, by the time somebody gets to a sales conversation with us, they already know who we are. They already believe that we have credibility and that we're going to be good at our job and that we are going to be trustworthy. They're trying to understand, can this particular solution solve my problems and deliver the outcome? And how you help them is you ask questions so that they can tell you, here is my problem. Here is my desired outcome. Here are some solutions I've tried before and why they haven't worked. Here's how important it is to me. And most of the time, if we are listening What we can do is we can help the client really get connected to the value. And gang, no matter what approach you're taking to your business, when your clients understand your value, your marketing is more successful, closing your sales is much easier, and you rarely have to try to justify your prices. When you know the difference between, oh, I'm doing marketing right now. This is a time for me to be talking to people who are strangers to me, who maybe don't really know what I do or who I am or what I care about. And it's a time to let them know who I am so that they can make an informed decision about investing their time in a sales call. When I'm marketing, I'm making people aware of some of the things that I offer and some of the things that I can do because they might not even be aware of those solutions being possible. When I'm marketing, I'm trying to demonstrate my credibility. I'm trying to demonstrate that I am trustworthy. I'm trying to demonstrate the how it might feel if we got to work together so that by the time they get to a sales conversation, There's already that sense of knowing who I am, trusting that I am credible in what I can do, and being willing to try one of the solutions that might be a good fit for them. One of the things that I do in my business is that I am absolutely clear that I care more about my client's success than I do about their credit card. What that does is in the sales conversation, I really do get to just be asking them, what would success for this project look like for you? At the end of the day, if what they actually want isn't something that I feel comfortable providing, if I feel like you know I can't do it for the value proposition that they're offering, I am really confident in saying no thank you and moving them to a place that's going to be a better fit. That is such a good feeling in a sales conversation to be there, not desperate to close the sale, not trying to convince or manipulate or persuade or not having to justify or educate or do all of that talking. If you're doing a ton of talking in your sales conversation, you probably need to invest more time and effort and energy in your marketing so that your sales conversations are really just information gathering and confirmation. Yes. Awesome. I'm seeing some additional comments here in the box. Nice to see you guys here. Thank you for joining me, Dave. Todd says, yeah, they don't care how much we know until we show them how much we care. And the showing how much we care comes in the marketing by the messaging and what we're talking about. And the showing how much we care in the sales conversation comes from how well we listen. Listen to what they say 
and use their own words back to them so that they feel heard, they feel validated, they feel listened to, they feel, oh, if she gets me at this level, she's probably going to be able to solve my problem as well. Your ability to listen and reflect in a sales conversation will, in fact, give you more credibility and more trust moving forward in the relationship. I'd love to hear if you guys have any questions about trying to understand when does marketing stop and sales begin? What is the difference between selling and marketing? Happy to answer any of those additional questions. I always come back and have a look at the chat box. And if you're ready to move forward to the next step and to create your own compelling offer that is going to close your freelance sales for you, then check out the link and hop on the mini course that's coming up at the end of July. I'd love to see you in it. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Aura McKay. I'm the founder of Business of Creativity, and this has been Coaching for Creatives. We'll see you here live next week. Mm -hmm.